Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Aditya. Welcome to the series FMG High Yield. So, the topic that we're going to cover today is classification of human parasite eggs. Well, basically, you all know that uh, there are different types of parasite eggs uh, that, that we have to be knowing for the examination purpose. So, let's learn to identify each one of them. Firstly, let's take a look at Ascaris lumbricoides egg. As you can see, it is a bile stained egg. It is yellow in color and it has a thick outer wall and it has an unsegmented ovum. And then let's take a look at hookworm eggs. When we say hookworm, I mean Ankylostoma duodenale, Nicator americanus, and Ancinaria. So in these hookworm eggs, you can see that it is clearly distinguishing in a uh, distinguishing with the uh, Ascaris lumbricoides. Hookworm egg is a non bile stained egg and it has a thin outer wall and it has segmented ovum unlike Ascaris lumbricoides. And you can also notice that there is a clear space between the ovum and the outer wall. So that's it with the hookworm egg. Let's take a look at Trichiris trichira egg. Well, if you take a look at Trichiris egg, you can notice that there are mucus plugs on both the ends and it is ellipsoidal in shape. So I think that is enough to identify the Trichiris egg. Then when it comes to Hymenolepis nana egg, you can clearly notice that there are polar filaments on either ends. That would be the identifying feature of Hymenolepis nana egg. Then let's take a look at Diphylobothrium latum egg. You can see that in this Diphylobothrium latum egg, there is an operculum at one end and there is a small knob on the other end. So these, we can come to a conclusion that this is a Diphylobothrium latum egg. Then there is Tinea solium egg. Well, when it comes to Tinea egg, you can notice that there is a, it is surrounded by a thick striated wall and also there are three pairs of hooklets inside them. Then let's take a look at Fasciola hepatica egg. In this case, you can definitely notice the operculum at one end and the egg is an ellipsoidal shape. So with this, you can identify the Fasciola hepatica egg. Then comes Entrobius vermicularis. Well, Entrobius vermicularis is a very clear egg, is a very transparent egg and uh, the most distinguishing feature about it is the shape of the egg, which is a plano convex shape. One side it is plain and on the other side it is making a convex shape. So that would be all. That would be the different types of parasite eggs that we can see. So hope you understood. Thank you for watching.